I spent over $1,000 on untested Wii's, Xbox 360's, and PS3's, and in this video, we're going to test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to an episode of The Texas Load. All right, so we're going to start with this Wii here, and it actually looks pretty solid. Got both flaps, no SD card, and yeah, let's plug it in, see if it works. Now, I actually did just notice that it looks like it has some uh, fungus growing in the USB ports. That's... Not great, but let's go ahead and see if it turns on. And oops, I already pressed the button accidentally. Oh, I hear a game inside. Hold on, hold on. We'll see what we get here. And we got a... What? Fortune Street. What is this? Well, the game looks perfect, but why have I never heard of this game? Fortune Street. Oh, dude. I'm looking at this game. This game sells for 25 bucks loose. What? What is this? It looks like a some sort of board game. Let's just boot it up and play. Yo, Dom. Dom was played in 2018. Let's go. I mean, that's pretty recent for a Wii. And yeah, it looks like it's some sort of some sort of board game. Uh, let me just, I guess, play a little bit. Finally, my turn. Here we go, Dom. Heck yeah. Three. So it looks like it's basically like a Monopoly type game. You land on spaces and you buy shops and stuff. I, I don't know. I honestly, I'm not a huge fan of these board <laughs> board game type stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep exploring here. All right, now of course we need to find out the last time this thing was played. I guess we saw 2018, so let's see if that matches here. Oh, yep, here we are, May 2018. We got some. <laughs> Played a Fortune Street for three and a half hours, and that was just the last time they ever played the... That's the last time Dom ever played this console. All right. Always kind of sad to see. But anyways, this console is, is good to go. Works perfectly fine. Very quiet. Anyways, guys, all the consoles in this video and in, in the Texas will be listed down below for sale on my website. So go check them out. Also, you can scan the QR code on the screen. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, guys. So next up, we have another Wii. This one is complete in box. At least I hope it's complete. Got a sticker on the front, and the box is kind of destroyed. But let's... uh. Open it up, see what's inside. Voila, we have everything just nice, great. And we, <laughs> dude, we actually have a controller with the Wii jacket. Wait, hold on, what is, what is this? We have some sort of HDMI adapter that's just destroyed. We have our Wii console here, which looks really good for the most part. Yeah, looks pretty solid. Even got our stand and all that good stuff. We have a Xbox 360 AV cable. We have another controller, two nunchucks, power supply. What, what is this? I've, oh, it was a Vizio thing. What? <laughs> looks like somebody's TV adapter. What? Okay. All right. First thing we got to do, though, is check for... Oh, my goodness. Straight to the trash. And that's why I check for him. Now, let's check the other controller for more corrosion. And, yep, that's tragic. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and put all this uh, other stuff to the side. Plug in the console and see if it works. All right. Plugged in. Three, two, one. And, yes, free game. Let's go. Probably Wii Sports because Wii Sports came with the Wii. It just makes sense. And yep, what do, what do you know? Wii Sports and, wow, that's some bad scratches on the top. I can't imagine what the bottom, bottom looks like. And oh, it looks perfect. Yo, yes, we got games. We got Super Mario Bros. downloaded. We got Super Mario Bros. 3 downloaded. Let's, uh, let's start with Wii Sports here. Boot it up and see if they even play Wii Sports at all. All right, zero skill level. The default character has, is, come on, man. Let's go check out the, 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 me, the, 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 the me channel. See if we can get some more context as to who's on this console. All right, we got Andrea. Angel Coqui De <laughs> Denid Dash Dash. Nothing special here. That's okay. And then, I mean, they got a decent amount of save data. We fit, of course. And then, what is that? Big Beach Sports. <laughs> okay. Okay, so back to Wii Sports. And ah, okay, so Lucy is the one who played this console. Has 561 skill level, which is not too bad. Let me go ahead and just, uh, let me just pump those numbers for you real quick, Lucy. <laughs> There we go. There. Boom. There we go. It's about time. Only took four frames. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this console was played before I just played it. Ah, oh, here we are. Finally. December 26, 2011. Playing right after Christmas. And we got about two hours playtime. And then that was it. Take it to Goodwill. See you later. All right. Well, this console works. Uh, came with a box, but of course, half the stuff was corroded. Guys, this console will be listed down below for sale. Go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So guys, next up, we're going to test out an OG Xbox. And this one uh, looks a whole lot better than the one from last episode. This one is pretty clean, honestly. The front looks good. The bottom looks good. Never opened or anything. Oh, there is one chip down here, but that's not the end of the world. Now, there is one more thing I want to do before I plug this console in. Now, I mentioned my last episode that I have this little bag of Xbox games here. I don't know what's what's in it. We did a little sneak peek and saw the first game, but let's go ahead and just go through it and find what's in here, because there, there, there could be some goodies in here. So, first game we saw is Fable 3 for the 360. We've also got Lord of the Rings, War in the North, Tomb Raider, uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, 
Also got Lord of the Rings for the <laughs> for the PC. Sims Life Stories, Sacred Three, Need for Seed Carbon. Is Carbon the expensive one? Hold on, hold on. I mean, fifteen bucks. That's not bad. Dungeon Siege, Diablo, Assassin's Creed Two, Mass Effect, Blade Storm, Fallout Three. All right, and last but not least, here we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Honestly, nothing crazy in here. I was actually expecting it to be OG Xbox games, but they're all just regular 360 games but whatever let's <laughs> let's plug in the console and see if it works i feel like i hear a disc inside let's go ahead and check and it's stuck ah nice good old xbox now lucky for us the xbox actually has a little hole right there where we can plug in a paper clip and try to get this thing out manually so let's try that there we go oh oh it's coming out and no free game but i've got it kind of coming out now it's still ooh, ooh. what in the heck <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so bad. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and check out this console. I'm gonna start with the music here. I've actually seen in the last couple of consoles I bought that they had like random music saved on them. This one's nothing. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and check out the memory. And yeah, we got some memory. Let's go. We got Charlie. <laughs> Dude, I completely forgot there was a Charlie in the Chocolate Factory game. Played him back in back in 04. Colin McRae Rally. Simpsons Hit and Run. Okay, okay. We got. <laughs> I love how the SpongeBob. Oh, 2011. I love how this one is just a, it's a Krabby Patty. That's funny. And yeah, last but not least, we got Yu-Gi-Oh, which is here, but has no save at all. That's strange. All right, well, let's go ahead and put a disc in and see if it works. And actually, real quick before we do that, I'm going to try to replace the band that's inside of this disc drive that should hopefully help this disc drive not get stuck as much. All right, let's see if it, it'll work now. Oh, let's go. Yes, it comes out. It, uh, yeah, it comes out all the way, but it's still, it's still getting stuck when I try to close it. So there's something else in there that's holding it open. Whatever. It's, it's better, but... Still not great. All right, of course, uh, classic Xbox and PS2 things. I feel like 75% of the PS2s and Xboxes I get now, the, the laser just doesn't work, which is honestly not surprising. It's been 20 plus years at this point, but all right, yeah. But anyways, this console will be listed down below for sale, so go check it out. And guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. <laughs> so guys, next up, we have probably the most yellow Xbox 360 I've ever seen. And it looks like also somebody kissed on the front, like there's some, some lipstick left there. You can see on the bottom it actually is white, so just look at that stark difference between the white and the yellow. That's just horrible. I won't be surprised if it doesn't turn on, but let's let's try it. Literally, as I, as I was about to say, no red ring, it red rings. Yippee. All right, let's get the secondary code. All right, so error code is 0020, which looks like it could be a, an issue with the CPU, GPU, or RAM, which is like, that's like half the issue. So I just want to open the disk drive and see if there's anything in it. Come on. Not even a free game? Dude. All right, well, this console sucks. Let's move on. Now next up we have an Xbox 360 Slim that's just obviously beat to crap, scratches everywhere and honestly smells like cigarettes and uh, people kind of have a bad habit of leaving their consoles in the basement collecting dust, dirt, grime, cockroaches but hey if you're trying to kick bad habit I have an alternative you might want to try and that's Fume, the sponsor of today's video. So Fume is an award winning flavored air device. It's not a vape, it doesn't have nicotine, there's no vapor and it doesn't have batteries. It's basically a device where you load in flavored cores like crisp mint, orange vanilla and my favorite maple pepper and then your mouth gets to taste some flavored air. And it's not just great for flavored air, it, this device is seriously cool. It's got a great way to feel to it, it's made with magnets so it snaps and clicks, and it's even got an adjustable airflow dial. Honestly, really satisfying, and it's just a great device to fidget around with. Now, Fume has served over 300,000 customers, and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code JacobR to get a free Fume base when you order the Journey Pack. It's the all-new magnetic stand for your Fume device. So head to tryfume.com, that's tryfum.com, and use the code JacobR, or scan the QR code on the screen to get your free Fume base when you order your Journey Pack today. All right, so console is plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it works, and see if there's a free game inside. All right, we got power. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like I hear a free game inside. Let's let's see. Free game, free game. Come on, come on. Oh, yes, Skate 3. Yeah, baby. And ooh, it looks strange. What the heck? All right, we'll, we'll put it back in and see if it loads up. Nice. It is loading up and reading. We'll go back and try to boot the game up in a minute, but let's go ahead and explore this console a bit, check out the storage, and see what's on it. Uh, yeah, no storage built in, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap in one of my random hard drives just to give us something inside of here to explore. <laughs> All right, we got some things here. We got BB, and we got... But uh, BB's the only one with any kind of data here. Actually, they didn't play any of these things. They just played Oblivion, got one <laughs> achievement, and then that was about it. We do have a ton of random themes, though. What the heck? That's so random to have, like, no save data and then have all these themes. Uh, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's boot up, boot up the game, make sure it works. Yeah, so the game's loading up. I, I wish we had some save data to explore, but alas, we have the crappy Slim 360. All right, guys, so this console's working. I'll be listed down below for sale, so go check it out, and let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, next up, we got another 360 here, and it looks, looks like it's from Dripping Springs. 
don't, don't know where that is. But it is a black Elite 360 and actually looks pretty good. It's kind of dusty, but at least there's nothing broken, at least as far as I can tell. And oh, it's Jasper. Let's go. Oh, just as, as I was saying, nothing was broken. There's like a, looks like somebody cut out a hole, like kind of in the middle there. What, what is that? Whatever, whatever. Let's just plug it in and see what happens. Okay, it's turning on. Free game. Yes! Oh, yo! <laughs> Got an OG Xbox game? Dude, that's, that's... Hold on. Yes! Let's go! So hype right now. All right. I was gonna say, <laughs> it's pretty strange how we got a, uh, a Halo 2 disc in the 360, but in that Xbox game case, we're getting 360 games, whatever. Disc looks perfect. Let's go ahead and put it back in there. Let me get a controller connected though. And yeah, clearly Halo 2 is one of the compatible Xbox games on the 360 because it is loading up, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna try out this Lord of the Rings War in the North. Never heard of this, but let's go ahead and put it in. Oh crap, no, I don't wanna do that. All right, the game is clearly loading up. Uh, it wants me to update, which we will not be doing. Do not wanna update off of NXT, but we got, a, we got our answer. Game works. Now scrolling around here, it looks like there are no profiles. So I guess this hard drive just has nothing on it. Yep, literally nothing. All right, let me just swap it out for this other 120 gig hard drive I have. Also just a random untested one from Goodwill. And let's see what's on it. And I actually just noticed that under this sticker, there's a, a price sticker for 1350. So at some point, uh, 212, 2023, they were actually selling this, this Xbox 360 for 13 bucks, which is a steal. Ugh, it's a bad hard drive, are you kidding me? All right, let's try the 60 gig hard drive since the 120 is just broken apparently. But it is kind of tragic to think about the fact that I think these 360 hard drives are going to start dying pretty soon. I haven't seen too many yet, but it's just inevitable. Now we got a handful of profiles. We got DMB, Kimonte, little <laughs> little cardiac. <laughs> oh man, I love this interface here. Let's let's boot up a little cardiac. Let's see what's up. So checking out little cardiac's profile here. Looks like the last thing he played was Street Fighter 2K16. So probably played in the last like, you know, 2015, 2016 kind of era. And the first game ever played was Uno, which I think was actually an Xbox 360 trial that just like came on a lot of a lot of consoles. And one other thing I want to try is, uh, obviously we've got a blank avatar, so I kind of want to make an avatar here. Ugh, I'm gonna update for that, that's, uh, that's kind of lame. All right, well, maybe I can figure that out, but let's, let's, let's go back. But does this thing have any games downloaded? Let's, let's go ahead and check. Ooh, ooh, we got 2K16 downloaded, probably won't work. I also got Watch Disney XD. Is it game? <laughs> Why does it classify these as games? That's that's weird. All right, let's try to boot up some of these games and see if any of them work. Yeah, so unfortunately, it looks like all of them need the disc, as you can see. So that's tragic. Oh, yo! <laughs> we have songs on here. Yes! So it looks like a bunch of sketchy, um, illegally downloaded things. But let me just, I'll just play them, see what they sound like. All right, guys, so I had some fun listening to some music on this console, and it's a it's a mix of random stuff. Like, there's obviously the real stuff, like Nicki Minaj and Rick Ross and stuff, but then we, I Shazam some of the music, and it's from a guy named CBZ, and uh, I had this thought, like, maybe CBZ is related to Lil Cardiac, like, maybe they're friends or something. Uh, they're both, they're actually both SoundCloud rappers, I found it out. Uh, I, I have no idea if they're related at all, but I was able to find both Lil Car Cardiac and CBZ on SoundCloud, which is funny. But it's always awesome to see people utilizing the uh, the music feature here. But let's take a second and just kind of scroll through the NXE dashboard and relive some of the past. Because this is, this is actually like, I love the Blaze dashboard, but the NXE is actually when I bought my first, three, first 360. Um, the Blaze was actually before I had a 360, but I, I love both of them. So this Meek one, I think, is an Xbox Live profile. And there's not much on it, though. Street, Street Fighter as well, YouTube, <laughs> the Xbox movies. Netflix, GTA 5, just the classic stuff. So guys, a couple more things on this NXE console. Uh, first of all, gotta go and log back into my famous SoundCloud rapper's profile, Little Cardiac, or maybe it's CBZ. I don't know, something weird or famous is going on here. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably just like some generic SoundCloud rapper. But also, did you guys know you could take a flash drive and plug it into your old NXE console and actually change the background? I, I had no idea, but it pops up under photos, go to portable device, and yeah, so I loaded a bunch of stuff, and honestly, this one's pretty funny. Let me show you. I made a Blades background, so it's like an NXE Blades hybrid, which it looks stupid, but it's uh, kind of funny. My favorite is actually this red one that I put on here because it looks like the NXE, and also it matches a little cardiac because it's like cardiac's heart, and like it's red, so haha, that's kind of cool. I really wish I could update this, this avatar, though, but uh, oh well. I, I got some ideas of what this, this famous SoundCloud rapper would look like. But guys, this console's awesome. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up here, I have a couple of Wii's to test out, and uh, the... <laughs> The first one here is very questionable. Um, yeah, it looks like the faceplate is just peeling off. Oh, and it's just it's just falling off. Great. Uh, no flaps on top. Actually, there is part of a flap. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice. So it's plugged in, and I can see a faint red light. Yeah, there's no button there. Um, 
Let me, let me just take this whole faceplate off. All right, so we got the faceplate off here partially. Let's see what's going on. So yeah, this piece is just like, oh, that's just like basically the piece that snaps in. What were people doing to this thing? All right, well, I think I can get it to work now. Um, we got a power button down here. I just gotta click it and yep, it turns on and there is a game inside. So to find out what the free game is, I'm gonna wait until it shows up on the screen instead of, you know, actually ejecting it. So let's, let's find out together here. Mario Kart, yes. My man, let's go. Mario Kart in the, what is that on the photo channel? Why is there an actual photo on the photo channel there? What is this Wii? Oh, this Wii is so jacked up, man. Get out of my way. Oh, this, this Wii is flustering me. All right, we got, a Wii, we got Mario Kart Wii, just jackpot. And I started this photo channel. I was like, what is, what is going on here? And I mean, there's no SD card in here, so I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm looking at. Are, was this like saved on the message board? Okay, so we have six photos here and none of them match the, what? Where did that Charles Street photo come from? What? What? So confused. Let's try to boot up Mario Kart Wii and see uh, if they were any good. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's check out the, the Me channel. Excuse me? <gasps> what? My mind is blown. I, I have never opened up a, Wii, a Me channel to see zero Mees. What is this Wii, man? Let, let me check out the save data now. Dude, and then, then booting up here, we have almost four full pages of save data. But there's no, there's no Miis. They never played Mario Kart. It almost seems to me like this person sold their Wii, but before they sold it, they like selectively deleted certain things. Like they deleted all their Miis. Let me check out the last time this game was played. Here we are, February 2016. Okay, so now I am seeing some Miis. We got Shamu. Sh yeah, Shamu. Played Wii Sports for the first time in 2016. All right, man, that, no more words to this Wii. This is a, such a strange Wii. But before we move on, I wanna see if I can remount this little piece and get it to work. I'm guessing this piece that plugs in is just for the disk drive lights, but I'm not sure. Let me turn this off and try to fix this. Okay, so basically I clipped the circuit boards into place. As you saw, there's one on that side, one on that side. Then I clipped the whole thing into place down here and it just kind of slotted in. Let me see if it works now. Uh, you can't really see it on camera, but it is lighting up now. It looks a little bit softer than it did before, but it, whatever, it's working. I'll, I'll have to mount the faceplate back on. Now let's go ahead and move on to this Wii over here. All right, so this Wii here looks a lot better. Uh, it is pretty scratched up and stuff, but other than that, it's fine. No SD card or anything, no flaps on top. And yeah, let's plug it in, see if it works. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. As I was plugging it in, I accidentally pressed a button, which turned it on and ejected <laughs> the... <f> <laughs> The inevitable Wii Sports inside. That's all right. Let's let's turn it back on now. <laughs> Other than that, there's no special channels or anything here. We just got Wii Sports. Let's go ahead and start there. Boot up Wii Sports and see what's up with it. Okay, booting up tennis looks like Casilla has never played. So they put Wii Sports in, and I, I, I she could have played like bowling or something, but it seems to me like this thing was just never played. Yeah, in terms of save data, there's uh, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros, and Wii Sports. So not a whole lot. Let's uh let's check out the last time this thing was played. All right, November 2018, we got some Wii Sports. What? Wii Sports debut. Uh, what, did, what did she play, though? Whatever. Anyways, they played Wii Sports for about an hour. Then a week later, Twilight Princess for five hours again. So it looks like this person just played Zelda, and that was it. But anyways, console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale if you want to check it out on my website. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, guys, so next up we have an NES, which first time I've seen one of these in one of these giant lots. But let's go ahead and just explore it. Uh, no secrets down there. And honestly, this thing doesn't look too bad. Like, looking at the bottom, it still has all, all four of her feet. And the top is not terrible for an NES. It's got, like, scratches and stuff all over it. Um, it is missing the front cover, obviously. I highly doubt this is actually going to read games, but you can see the, the snapping action is clicking in place and that sort of thing. All right, got it plugged in. Let's uh, see what this bad boy does. So I got my random glove ball game. Let's see if it... Oh, yeah, it's really loose. I doubt it'll work, but let's, let's try. All right, get power and... Oh, it's flashing. No surprise there. Now let me go ahead and try it. one more thing. So I have this uh, one-up console cleaner thing. That these things actually work really well. It's basically got some sort of abrasive thing that you plug in and slide in and out and it like basically uses some friction to clean off the corrosion or whatever else is on the pins and it helps a lot. These are a bit expensive. But let me go ahead and try that. We'll basically go in and out a handful of times. All right, tried that like five times. I'll put the game in. I also have not tried this game in quite a long time. So this could just be a a bad game at this point, and yeah, it's still, still flashing. Uh, I guess I'll put this NES to the side, and I'll list it down below for sale as is. But uh, guys, go check that out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, guys, we get a couple more Wii's, and I don't think you guys are ready for this one. Now, the, the top one looks pretty good. We'll put that one to the side, you guys. Whew, number fifty-one here. Oh, what, what is that? Disgusting. I mean, seriously, you, you can just tell that it looks like it was in a bathroom. Like. I'm gonna go put some gloves on. All right, so I actually did not put gloves on, but I cleaned my hands off and 
plugged in without touching the Wii. Um, let me go ahead and just, uh, <laughs> we'll turn it on without touching it here. No free game inside, but it is booting up for now. Yo! <laughs> no free game inside, but we got free games on it. Yes! All right, no secret, secret channels, but we got Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, Star Fox 64. Dude, that, that's a jackpot. Let's go ahead and start by testing a game. Got a copy of Mario Kart, which I'm a little, a little reluctant to put inside of this console, but I did it anyway. Let's, let's see what it does. Yes, it works. Let's see if they play Mario Kart. And nope, they did not play Mario Kart. All right, let's go back and check out the Mii channel. Yes, oh yeah, we got some Mii's, let's go. Uh, wait, what was it, Tigger? Oh yo, we got Tigger, that doesn't look like him at all, but all right. Voldemort, oh, that's a little scary. Yoda, that's, I guess that's Yoda, but that, uh, that's not great. Uh, and Zim, I, uh, made by Noodle Boy. All right, that's, that was interesting. I mean, like, this, is, this is quite the console. Let me go ahead and boot up one of these games, and I don't know if it saves, keeps any save data. Let's try out Super Mario World. All right, here we go, got my classic controller, and it looks like they played, like, not at all. All right, I, I'm tired of scrolling. I'm back in 2009, still haven't found the last time this thing was played. Oh, 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 there we go. December 2008, just in time. <laughs> I was about to quit. Uh, we played Wii Play. Guitar Hero and Twilight Princess for a few hours, and then we got the added Kill Bill. All right, so last but not least here, I'm gonna go to check out the um, console nickname. I'm gonna guess it's like Poop Wee or something, because Sunshine. This <laughs> this thing is the exact opposite of Sunshine, but all right. Let me put that Wii to this side, and we'll clean it up. Let's down below for sale, let's go check it out. It's actually a pretty sick Wii, because all the games is on it. Um, let's go to move on to this console right here. All right, this one actually looks really clean for the most part. And I got my fingerprints on it, but anyways, let's see if there's an SD card inside. There is not. Let's plug it in, see what it does. All right, three, two, one, turn it on. And, oh, yes, there's a game inside. Let's go. GameCube game? Come on. Just Dance 3. All right, should have expected it. That, that disc is super clean, though. Matches the console. Man, it's, it's, it's always Wii Sports, Mario Kart, or Just Dance. Uh, I got the Just Dance this time. Ugh, sucks. Now, as I'm booting up this console, I wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel, support the series, go ahead and check out my Texas Load shirts. I'll put a link down below on my website. Uh, great shirts. I, I mean, I wear them every day. Very comfortable. Let's go ahead and see any secret channels. Nothing here. Just Dance 3. It works. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel to start with. Oh, yes. We got some Me's. You love to see it. All right. So every single one of these names are like completely just normal average names. We got Yoshi Tong. I don't, I don't know if it's like a play on Yoshi, like the character. Whatever, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and boot up Just Dance. Perfect, let's go. Come get some. Ow, crap, that hurt. There we go, there we go, this part's easy part. That was, that was something. Uh, it was actually extra something because I was playing without music, so kind of strange. But let's go ahead and check out the last time this console was played. All right, guys, in 2012, still scrolling, haven't found anything yet. I'm, I'm honestly tired of scrolling today. Um, so we're just gonna stop this here. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. All these consoles, again, will be listed down below for sale on my website. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can also check out my YouTube memberships and Patreon. Uh, on the, I'll put some QR codes on the screen, also links down below. Basically, you get one extra exclusive video per week uh, for five bucks a month, and that includes like seeing behind the scenes of the Texas Load, other stuff weeks in advance, so go check that out. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and again, make sure to click that link down below to check out Fume if you're looking to quit a bad habit. And guys, I will see you in the next one.